Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by Recorded Future, delivering advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries. Hi, my name is Rosa Smothers. I'm a cybersecurity expert. My background is uh, over a decade in the intelligence community, primarily with the CIA, working as a cyber threat analyst and technical intelligence officer. Well, I always knew I wanted to be involved with computers. And I think, quite frankly, as a lifelong Star Trek nerd, you know, my, my two favorite characters were Spock and Uhura. So that kind of, in a funny sort of way, I think, left an impression on my young mind about the direction to take my life. Well, I started out in college and I was very good already with computers. And so I I'd just gotten my two-year associate's degree and started into the workforce and was making very good money because at that time, there was not an abundance of cybersecurity professionals out there. So it was kind of the wild, wild west. And then 9-11 happened and I wanted to go work for the government and pursue the bad guys, pursue Al-Qaeda. And I knew I needed a college degree in order to be able to apply for a position in the intelligence community. So at that point, I left the private sector, uh, did my junior and senior year in about a year's time. And I um, met a, a recruiter from the Defense Intelligence Agency at a job fair. And he pursued me for a position at DIA. And I started out there as a cyber threat analyst focusing on um, extremist groups, primarily Al-Qaeda. So I was at DIA for a couple of years. I learned the ropes of the intelligence community. That was a good start point for me. And during that process, I worked closely with my CIA colleagues. And, at, you know, after a time in working and collaborating together, they said, you know, we'd love for you to come join us at CIA. And I said, well, I would love to join you at CIA. So uh, that was that was pretty much it. It all took my life in a very different direction, but one that uh, I'm grateful for the uniqueness of the experience. Working at the agency afforded me the ability to work with a level of cutting edge technology that much if not most of the private sector is still considering or beginning to work on. Um, things that you do see in the movies. I usually say, you know, think of something that's fairly realistic but somewhat science fiction-esque and I may have been involved with something like that. <laughs> I was in D.C. for, I think, 14 years total, and a lot of that was overseas. And quite frankly, a lot of it was, you know, that lifestyle can be exhausting because it's a, a constant sense of paranoia. You have an, a constant awareness of our adversaries are pursuing you. So I left the area, moved closer to my family, took a couple months off just to learn how to live like a normal human being. And uh, I was in the Tampa area and Stu Showerman uh, discovered I was local and uh, called upon me to join Nobefore to work um, as their, uh, you know, senior vice president of cyber operations. So uh, it was an offer I just couldn't refuse. <laughs> The favorite part for me is the advocacy aspect of it. I am a big believer in what the company's mission is, and it's basically secure the planet. Social engineering is the easiest way into a network. Um, there's a business case for it, but there's also a just um, from a data privacy perspective for our citizens, it's also a huge issue as well. When I speak to um, students that are about to graduate 
from college, I always recommend to them that there are so many disciplines within technology writ large and even within cybersecurity specifically. You don't know until you really talk with people and um, get your feet wet, so to speak, where your passion and interest lies. So I think it's important to get that feedback from people. Uh, a lot of the times it's also noting where business is going and sometimes you have to take it upon yourself to um, to self-train and seek what certifications are available that you can pursue um, individually that gives you those credentials to take the next step. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by Recorded Future. Recorded Future delivers the world's most technically advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries, empower defenders, and protect organizations. Subscribe to Recorded Future's weekly podcast, Inside Security Intelligence, to go inside the world of cyber threat intelligence. Each week, you'll hear stories from the trenches, details on established and emerging adversaries, and insights on the cybersecurity industry. Visit recordedfuture.com slash podcast or wherever you get your podcasts to learn more.